Hola amigos, we're so excited you're here. We're Fiorella and Zach, and in 2018, we bought a shuttle bus to convert to the tiny home on wheels of our dreams. We had absolutely no experience in a very small budget, but we turned a bus into a home. And when we did, we hit the road for an epic adventure. We were out and about exploring the different backgrounds of the United States for two years before making the hard decision to let the bus go. And although we're not done with bus life or road life in general, we were ready for a new chapter. So we traded our winter for our summer and came to Bolivia, my home country. Here we have lots of incredible adventures ahead that we can't wait to show you. But first, a big renovation project. It starts today. Are you ready? Real screws, baby. Hey! First piece of the apartment makeover. So stoked to work on space, make it beautiful, and it's even more fun to do it in Bolivia. And as a surprise. And as a surprise. So. Freaking love Bolivia. So before we get anything started, I think we need to do a little before tour. So come on in. So this is the kitchen. Um, what we're thinking here is a few different things from trying to regrout the ceramic floor because we're not going to have the budget to change it. So we're going to work with what we have, maybe adding some color and definitely rearranging this living room situation that we have going on that is literally just a big pile of mess so we're gonna probably take the couch out and just restructure this keeping the counter keeping this big furniture that i really like it's like kind of a built-in but we're definitely gonna clean it up a little maybe paint it we're not changing any appliances we're kind of just gonna be doing a lot of cosmetic things to make this makeover very small on the budget. So this is the kitchen. Let's get to the bathroom. This little apartment only has one bathroom, which is this one. Um, pretty good in terms of size. We are thinking about new paint. Again, we're keeping the ceramic. We're not sure if we're gonna be able to paint it or not, but paint and little cosmetic tricks is really gonna change the space. So this is probably gonna be the room we do for last, but I'm excited to see what we create here. And this is where the makeover is really gonna get fun because I feel like this before is gonna be crazy by the time we're done with this. This is a big mess and it's kind of like the living room which also works as an office for my dad's business which is also somehow the dining room which is also the closet. So, we're going to be doing a lot of restructuring here, a lot of moving, changing the floor. We're getting rid of this really old, dirty carpet that's been here for 26 years, putting some nice floors. And then we are going to be just restructuring everything, painting. And I'm thinking about painting this big um, built-in cabinet because it doesn't really match the floor we chose. So this is going to be very different by the time we're done with it. The master bedroom, which is the only bedroom in the house, but it also needs some major TLC. Again, we are just taking out the carpet and putting new floor, which sneak peek is right here. <laughs> we're going to be using just the vinyl PVC planks because they were the cheapest and the most efficient for what we're trying to do. We are getting a lot of this furniture out and kind of trying to go more minimalist, more just like fun with the room, more boho too. So with this really nice beams, we want to highlight those better and just make it really cozy and very, you know, cozy bedroom vibes. We do have a big issue with the floor here. So you can tell there's a little stair, but here the floor is lifted. We don't know what's under the carpet. So that's going to be fun to find out. So we're thinking we're going to take the opportunity of the floor being all messed up to reconfigure the floor space. So by the time we're done with this, it's not even going to look like the same room or the same house honestly so let's get to work okay lads and ladies let's get 
get to work. We got a long list of chores here to do today. Now I expect us to get through all of them. We need to clean, we need to clear, we need to cut, we need to pull, we need to get this place into shape, and I'm not waiting. Yes, sir, yes, sir. I'll move this couch myself. Good. Now let's actually get started. So we went to pull up the carpet because originally we were going to pull the carpet up to have the original concrete floors underneath before we put the floors on. And we pulled it up and underneath it is more carpet. And underneath that carpet is the concrete, but in the first couple inches of the concrete that I could see, it was completely crumbled. So we have a very big fear of pulling all of this out and all of the concrete underneath being in horrible shape, making this a way more expensive, way more time consuming, and way harder project. So we're just gonna add to the legacy of all of the floors that have come before it and put these floors on top of the carpet. If you don't like it, you can just leave your comments to yourself. Google says it's okay. Google says it's fine. So if you don't, that's <laughs> on Find you. it on Google. Yeah. So what we're working with in terms of the floor is some vinyl, you know, PVC planks. Finding them in Bolivia was a lot harder than we thought because they're kind of new here. They usually use actual just wood floors, but because of the space and the budget, we really wanted something that was easier and that we could install and had experience. So since in the bus, we installed the vinyl floor plank floors, we knew that we could do this. So we found a color we liked it was 115 bolivianos per meter square so that's about almost 20 dollars a little less than 20 dollars per meter square so it was a bit more expensive than we wanted to i think in all total we came to about 500 dollars for all the flooring so that's going to be the biggest part of our budget i think though so we're pretty happy so let's see how it looks in the room If this was the bus, it would have been done. This is way above my pay grade. I only do 60 square feet at a time. You couldn't find a mallet? No. How about that? That closed it. Sweet. What are you using? <laughs> this is a three kilogram mallet. <laughs> Can he do it? <laughs> if the camera's out, probably not. Camera shy who? I do definitely see why floorers wear knee pads. Why is that? Because knees be hurt. What we did into last night was play around with the planks to see where we could maximize planks in the space, meaning what direction should we lay the planks so we had to do less cuts. So definitely consider doing that if you're doing a vinyl plank floor install. Thanks for coming to my TED talk. Running through boxes. Run into this 
floor. This project for us couldn't come of a better time. To be honest, there's a lot of weeks between selling the bus and getting here that were heavy. We allowed ourselves the time to let go of the old version of ourselves, and that was a daunting yet courageous task to look within, to sit still. This project, this physical renovation, is in many ways inspiring for our internal one. We look forward to the opportunity of a new beginning to starting again, to building again, and we can't wait to see what this will bring for us. What do you think? Really? You like it? Where are you? You like it? Are you not sure about it? I kind of look pretty. Scooped this drill from Facebook Marketplace for 200 Bolivianos, which is about $30. Brand new, comes with the directions, comes with the saw blade, comes with a regulator and a way to set how fast the blade is going. So we are pretty stoked about it. Hopefully it works. Hopefully it works. If not, we're coming for you, bud. OJ's? Like OJ's glove, baby. Wait, I think we're doing something wrong. Why? Because this is not going to fit. It might be easier actually to maybe want to do all kind of like chunks before we put them in this way. three boards in this room that we were completely done. For this project, you will need a cardboard box, some scissors, and markers. <laughs> You're a funny girl, my love. Huh? You are a funny girl.
Loki. So a lot has happened since the last video. <laughs> we had those last three pieces that we wanted to do, but Fiorella's phone died, so we weren't able to record them. And we took a little lunch break, and then we took a little nap break. So just finished them right now. It's a bit later in the day than we wanted it to be. We thought we were gonna be able to get the paint and everything today, but nonetheless, we are stoked that the whole floor is done pretty seamlessly. Not really any hiccups or problems at all, so we are excited about that. Um, it feels good to have one entire room done, so we only have one more room to go as far as the floors. And we just got to add the trim, do some painting, and we're gonna be on our way. So I'll show you those last three pieces. There were a bunch of funky little cuts. Um, but yeah, we are stoked that it turned out the way it did, and it feels crazy to be in this big empty room with a pretty floor. And the acoustics are crazy, and it makes me want to just headbang to some Rage Against the Machine or do yoga. I'm not really sure which one. So <laughs> let me show you those floors. <laughs> Three pieces. That was a real funky cut. And then the last two there. That tiny little piece back there we're gonna wait on just because it's such a funky piece that we don't want to, you know, potentially waste wood. We're gonna see if we get a scrap that fits in there better. But as you can see, we just need to add the trim. The wall down there is in pretty bad shape, but that's gonna be covered. And yeah, we love the way that it looks. We are stoked. We're buying paint. They're doing it great or we're doing it absolutely horrible and I just have no idea. Tensions get hard when you're doing these projects, especially when you have no idea when you're what you're doing. In progress. Just a little time in a break. Both in our to... relationship <laughs> and in this room, so 